Was Jesus based off the prophet Zoroaster? Zoroastrianism is a monotheistic religion that dates back to ancient Persia and was founded by a prophet named Zoroaster. Many mysticists think Christians made up the myth of Jesus by stealing from this monotheistic religion and modeling Jesus after Zoroaster. Their argument is, Zoroaster was born of a virgin by a ray of divine reason. He was baptized in a river. There is a legend of him in his youth, amazing scholars with his wisdom. He was tempted in the wilderness by the devil. He began his ministry at the age of 30. He baptized with water, fire, and holy wind. He cast out demons. He restored sight to a blind man. He taught of heaven, hell, resurrection, final judgment, salvation, and the apocalypse. He used a sacred cup and had a Eucharist. He was referred to as the Word made flesh, and he will return in a second coming to begin the Golden Age. So do we have evidence Christians stole from the legend of Zoroaster? Well, a little bit of scholarship can easily put this to rest. First, we should note the life of Zoroaster does predate Jesus, but most of the information on him comes from tales found in the Avesta, which was not composed until the 4th century. We don't have any manuscripts prior to the 13th century. This was long after Jesus existed. The New Testament was finished and long after our earliest New Testament manuscripts. It is possible oral traditions go back prior to the birth of Christ, but with such a large time span in between, the stories are unreliable at this point. Plus, many Zoroastrian scholars note the tales of Zoroaster were updated over time. Jenny Rose says, the incorporation of certain motifs into the Zoroastrian tradition in the 9th century CE could indicate the conscious attempt of the priesthood to exalt their prophets in the eyes of the faithful who may have been tempted to turn to other religions. Michael Berger says, Different parts of the Zen Avesta were composed at different times, providing a series of snapshots of the religion that allow historians to see how it changed over time. So it is far more likely Zoroastrianism was updated after Christianity, and borrowing could possibly have gone the other way around. Even with that, a lot of these parallels simply are not true. Zoroaster was never said to be born of a virgin. There are some texts that postdate Jesus that speak of a kingly glory residing over his mother for 15 years, but she was already married when this happened. There is no source which says he was baptized, only that he received his revelation on the banks of a river. The next one is true, but the tale doesn't match Jesus, since Zoroaster was placed under the care of a wise man, and as a child, he debated with sorcerers and necromancers. They plotted against him and had him thrown in jail. He only got out by healing the king's favorite horse. The next one is sort of true. Zoroaster was tempted by a lesser demon, not the head demon himself, and it was after 10 years of visionary experiences, not 40 days. Also, there is no indication it happened in the wilderness. There is also no mention of bread, stones, leaping off the temple, or anything that matches the temptations of Jesus. This next one is true, but it is pretty meaningless in terms of theology, and comes from literature that postdates Jesus. This next one is completely false, and so is the following one. I can find no text which claims he casts out demons. The closest we can find are tales of Zoroaster, driving out pestilence and sorcerers. There is a record of Zoroaster healing a blind man, but it comes from a 10th century document. This next one is true, but the terms do not mean the same thing as they do in Christianity. Salvation was by works alone. The Zoroastrian doctrines of heaven and hell are far too general to form a parallel. Final judgment is performed by a committee of lesser heavenly beings, not the eternal god, Ahura Mazda. The only parallel is at the end of time there will be a resurrection for all the saints, but nothing of a dying and resurrected messiah in the middle of time. There is no evidence of a sacred cup or a Eucharist, and no evidence he was ever referred to as the word made flesh. This last one is partially true. A return is expected in 2341 AD, but no one is sure if it will be Zoroaster himself or a different person born in the future. No details on this eschatology were given until the 9th century. So we don't know enough and it is far too late to form a parallel to Christ. So since most of this information on Zoroaster is incorrect and comes from documents that are too late, there is no evidence Jesus was just a myth based on Zoroaster.